right. All right, all right. And we back with another episode. I love this music. I love this music. Gives me that WWE. You know what I mean? I'm bringing it. Coming to the ring. Feel. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's a third episode of the ATP Combat Media. It's your boy, Claymore Rain. Got a lot to talk about today. We don't need to beat around the bush. We can get right to it. Hope everybody's been blessed and feeling great. Um, today's topic is going to be, uh, you know me, I, I go outside the box a little bit, right? I don't necessarily come straight ahead like, you know, other um boxing platforms um do in this space um i think we got enough of the opinions on this and that and I, you know i'll do that from time to time obviously you know probably a line share at a time that it'll be this is a boxing platform well a uh, combat platform so we'll be also speaking about mma things um in the near future as well but today um i want to address some um you know this is a topic that i've actually um brushed on in in the past a little bit and i don't even know if this is going to be the last time we talk about this because this is something that you know is really um this is really a wall that in um in in athletes in athletes in general right in sports in general and just people as well in just their personal lives um dealing with this mental health aspect of life um specifically Pertain, pertaining to sports and how these young men and we need to talk about it for what it is right because we're dealing with young men right anybody from the age of you know <clears throat> 18 to you know early 30s but I, I think really inside of that window of like 18 to like 25 you know a lot of these um young men are coming out of stressful situations environments that aren't uh so you know so and so con, con, conducive right to a healthy mentality a lot of these young gentlemen are coming out of environments to where they have to have a survivor's mentality and in the process of surviving some bad habits are picked up a lot of them haven't seen anything you know good in life in comparison to what they have access to once they achieve a certain amount of success in the in the um in the space that they're in whether it's boxing basketball football whatever have you um they're they're at that point afforded a lifestyle that they never were able to have and and we gotta you know speak transparently about it as far as like in our community in our community what's actually put up as the thing to do right as far as balling right <laughs> you know what i mean um spending money um the women um the nightlife um you know it, it, partaking in all these different um recreational activities uh a lot of times it seems like it's um getting in the way of a lot of our young men you know developing in a in, in a way that's a little bit more positive and a little bit more conducive to what they I believe want wanted when they first started this sport which is to be great right they wanted to be great in that space in that sport whatever it is um in this case boxing and um that's what was driving them and that as well as pulling their family out of poverty um giving people in their family opportunities that they were never afforded to and, and being able to be a vehicle to um facilitate um facilitate that to them is i'm sure a dream come true for for any young man um in that situation but the pressures can become very very real very very quick matter of fact the more success they see um the more access that they gain it would almost seem as if the pressure goes actually up it's more pressure there's more accountability 
on their side. And then you combine that with cameras and, and constant exposure and coverage from social media and other sports platforms from as big as ESPN and Showtime and um, these Fox Sports to, you know, down to the bottom of the barrel of, of social media like, well, like myself, right? <laughs> Well, like myself and other people um, in this space creating the content as well. But, you know, the key to, 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 to anything in life starts here, right? It starts in your head. It's a mentality that you have to have. There's a mentality that you have to adopt in order to manifest the reality that you're trying to get to. And... These we're seeing almost like a trending thing right now where a lot of our, our young men like the Javante Davises, the uh, Jared Andersons, the uh, Jamal Charlo, even Jamel to a degree. Right. Um, even Anthony Joshua. I mean, the list goes on. I, and I'm sure even the ones that we're not going to mention because um, I'm sure we can go on the list forever, but even the ones that maybe aren't necessarily there in the limelight getting that bad attention, attention, um, you know, there's a, there's a saying, if you, and I don't want to compare, <laughs> I don't want to compare these athletes to, to roaches, right? But, you know, coming from the hood, you know, coming from that side of the tracks, we deal with those things, right? And we know that when you see one roach, it's pretty safe to say that there's probably a, Thousands and thousands and thousands of more roaches in your walls, right? You have to get at the problem and address the problem for what it is. If you look at it like it's just one roach and you stepped on it, it's like, whoo, I got one roach. You're probably playing yourself because as soon as the lights go out, when they come back on, you're going to see that you have more than one roach, right? So so what, what are we going to get to today on, on the show today? We're going to talk about how important uh, the mentality is in the process of getting to where you want to be. And also we're going to talk about how, how do you keep the right mentality to get to where you need to get to, you know, and I'm definitely going to be interested and I'm, you know, I always say, you know, please comment, please leave me your opinion on what you think about it. But um, we're going to, spend a little time on the topic today. Take our time. We're going to talk about it. We'll get into actually specific um, situations going on right now. Um, break those situations down. And, you know, at this at this point, let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're at. So on the top of the list of, uh, of topics today, recently, uh, Jared Anderson, a young heavyweight coming out of Toledo, Ohio, Got in a little bit of trouble in Oregon. Um, News is um, he actually got pulled over and he got charged with improperly handling firearms um, while knowingly under the influence and operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol or drugs. And this is this is according to the Lucas County Corrections Center records. Anderson's 23 years old, young man. Um, young, big, huge prospect. Um, I believe he's ranked around number five or six in the heavyweight, um, division right now. Um, and a bright future ahead of him if he could focus his energy correctly. Right. And focus is, is the word, um, being able to focus your mind, you know, and control your attention is the key to victory here. About a few months ago, Jared Anderson got into a, uh, got an interview. I said got into it, right? Got um, had an interview, or not even an interview, more of a conversation with Roy Jones Jr. And it was an all access coverage, and he was expressing feelings of um, feeling a lot of pressure being in a situation that he's in and being in a position that he's in, and how he really didn't ask for that, but you know, all these people depending on him, you know, and you could see. You could actually see during that conversation that, um, you know, he didn't sign up for for the extra stuff, right? <laughs> he signed up to compete and to um, have that success and maybe get his mother, um, you know, out of the situation that she was in. And, you know, the way he grew up, he wanted to give his family a better life. But um, he didn't anticipate, you know, how many people, it seems, 
um, would actually be depending on him and how much pressure would be on him to perform and, and, and you know, win and um, make it up to where everybody else saw where, where he was going to go and where they wanted him to go. And he was just wondering, you know, what if I don't make it? You know, I don't want to disappoint the people who love me, et cetera, et cetera. And almost, you know, expressed feelings of just not necessarily wanting to go too much further with the boxing um, than he already was going or where he was already at. And, you know, Roy tried to, you know, shed some light and give some perspective on the situation, um, letting him know he was blessed by God and that God gave him an assignment and um, God... And although he might feel it's too heavy for his shoulders, that God would never give him nothing more, nothing um, would never give him more than he could handle and that his shoulders are strong. And, you know, um, he's a warrior and he's he's not a scary guy. And that, you know, just trying to give him words of motivation to keep going forward, because I'm sure just like Roy did, a lot of people around him see the talent in him and they want to see him move on with that talent and take that talent to wherever it might take him. But you saw in that um, in that conversation that Jared was definitely having, you know, some issues with with what that looked like to the point where he actually um, broke down in in literal tears, you know. And um, I felt bad for him at that moment. I'm not going to lie. Even though I know he's getting paid very well for what he does, I did feel bad for him. You saw that, you know, because at the end of the day, we have to acknowledge that's a young man, 23 years old. I mean, that that dude's young enough to be my child. You know, and you could see it was a lot for him to deal with. But what's the key for somebody like Jared and what he's going through right now? Well, I think as as a older person, right, (laughs) as an older person, I would definitely say that the key to success for him is the focus. You know, you have a small Oscar De La Hoya kind of spoke on this as well a, a, a few weeks back saying you have a small window of opportunity where you're healthy, where you, you have the right age, where where everything is, where those opportunities show up for you and you could take advantage of them and become somebody great, greater than you ever probably expected for yourself. And the only way to get there is by focusing and literally blocking out everything else that's going on out in the outside world, outside of your family, really buckling down, putting your nose to the stone, grinding, and taking advantage of what you have right now because what you have right now is just not promised tomorrow, right? It's not promised tomorrow. So Jared needs a conversation from somebody who he respects, and he needs to make a decision to understand that spreading himself thin and letting your attention get into, you know, clubs and drinking and, It's a lifestyle what you're doing. It's a lifestyle. And you got to commit to that lifestyle. Or it can fall down all around you and literally explode and take you with it. You know? Um, And and that's the best. That's the best advice if I were going to give any advice. Um, And who am I? But just a regular old dude, right? So, but that would be the best advice, right? Focus your energy. Make a commitment. Make a decision today of what you're going to do because if you're focused on what you're supposed to be focused on you just won't have time for all the nonsense that's going to come your way and right now dealing with what what you're dealing with I'm pretty sure you got some good lawyers that'll jump in front of that but I'm hearing conversations of um top rank who's his uh promotion and management company right now they're they're they may be feeling some kind of way they may be about how how he's been carrying himself as of late, especially with the conversation of how he feels about boxing. I'm sure that's not helping it at all, you know. But, you know, a lot of pressure for a young guy like that. Uh, On the story as well, we have Keyshawn Davis recently who just popped on a marijuana, on a drug test, and it turned out I believe it was marijuana. Um, And it ended up costing him, right? It cost him the, the decision that he earned, over his last fight, and at at the same time also um, cost him a a, a match that he had scheduled for December, right, against, uh, I believe it was Jose Pedraza, if I'm correct, Uh, Jose Pedraza, right, 
huge opportunity for him to make a mark in that in that 135 pound division. Young prospects, so much, so much potential. You know, um, and you know, once again, make a decision. What are you doing with your life, and what are you going to do, and how are you going to get there? What are you willing to sacrifice to get there? You know, pride can be a very toxic, dangerous thing. And standing your ground on something that it's not about it being right or wrong necessarily as much as it's, is it with the rules or against the rules of the game that you have chosen to play in? You decided to be a boxer, a professional boxer. Your nickname is the businessman. Well, Mr. Businessman, with any business that you get involved with, there's going to be some rules one way or another. You have a small window. It might seem like you have forever, but you don't. You're a young man. You have a small window of opportunity to take advantage of the God-given skills you've been blessed with. You can put some things to the side until you're done with this small time in your life. This is not for the rest of your life. Years, five, ten years, who knows? Somewhere in that range, and you'll be on to your next chapter. You gotta make a decision on, on what it's gonna be. Put that pride to the side. Standing, you know, on videos, protesting how unfair it is, wanting to be treated the way you wanna be treated when you know how the game goes. You've got enough wise people around you. So focus your mind. Get your mentality in the right space so you can begin manifesting the reality that you really want. By all means, I'm sure today you are a successful person um, in comparison to where you were maybe five years ago. But I'm speaking to the person who had aspirations of being even more than what he is today. Huge aspirations. I'm speaking to the businessman. Get your mentality where it needs to be so you can manifest that reality. Um, Same thing with Mr. Javante, right? Same thing. The face of boxing, quite possibly. The present face of boxing, quite possibly. Choose your battles, young, young bull. Choose your battles. This is a small window you have. This is a small window. Take advantage of it. Move the way you're supposed to move. You've got the OGs around you. You see how Floyd had to carry it, who he is to this day. You commit all the way. You stand for something or you fall for anything and everything, brother. Anything and everything. That's all that matters. Put your pride to the side. Save your pride for for that training. Save your pride for those fights. Save your pride for the things that are going to help you. But rewriting the script... That's not where your energy needs to be. That's not arguing with a judge publicly (laughs) on all social media platforms. You don't need that. You don't win that war. You don't win that. That just gets more complicated for you. That's what happens with that. That gets more complicated for you. So listen to the people who love you. You made some powerful moves a few years ago. You cleaned up your circle. You cleaned up your habits. You walk around close to weight. I remember when you used to have a little round head, you know, you used to gain that weight and you were living a little reckless. So you've already, you already made a decision. You made a decision. You just got a few more things that you need to get out your way so we can see the best days that are in front of you, the best days that are in front of you, the biggest fights that we know we all anticipate and seeing. We're all anticipating seeing it. Get the mentality in place so you can manifest the, rap, the, the reality and, and what you're trying to get done and what you're trying to achieve. But, you know, I'm not going to stay long. That's pretty much where we're going to go at. But just wanted to comment on that situation. You know, comment on that situation. Young bulls, focus. Young bulls, focus your energy. Focus your mentality to where it needs to be. You're in a space a lot of people would kill a close relative for. (laughs) Right? They, 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 They go ahead and 
clean up a, a, a relative, clip one of them right quick. Probably he's done it in the past to get in the space that you're in. Don't act like you're not in that space. And don't treat the space like it's common because it's not. But on that note, we're going to keep it moving. Please comment, like, dislike, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the content. And uh, I'll see you on the next, excuse me, I'll see you on the the next episode. It's your boy, Claymore Rain, and it's the ATP Combat Media. We out. (laughs) 